happy birthday because it's a happy Earth Day. Um, follow me, man. If you like this content, follow me, like, share, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do. Let's get this information out there, man. It's not only going to help you, it's also helping me as well. Um, so one thing I want to talk about, I think it's very important to discuss, is um, using other people's information and stuff. You know, a lot of the time, I realize, you know, growing up as a kid, man, we we're so naive. We'll, we'll use anything, you know what I'm saying? If we want to be like a particular person, we'll, we'll um, entertain their ideas instead of our own because we don't know ourselves. You know, a lot of time, people don't teach us to be ourselves. They teach us to emulate other people, other individuals that we see, that we watch on TV, um, that we think that are the most positive. And, and it's not true because they're living out their life and we're trying to live out our lives, but we're trying to live out their lives through us. And it doesn't really make any sense. You know, a lot of time I, I look at people, man, like uh, when it comes to sports, I like sports, don't get, don't get me wrong, but I see so many individuals who get engulfed in the fact of sports that they start to lose their mind. They want to start fights, they want to start riots, they want to cuss people out, they don't want to be friends with anybody, they, they get all upset, they get overwhelmed about watching the sports. But really, you're entertaining another man's success. You know, why aren't you entertaining another individual's success when you can entertain your own success? You know, it's so crazy, man, that we, we get so wrapped up into it. And I remember as a kid, and, you know, this just kind of changed me up. The first time I ever wrote a rap verse, you know, um, whoever, uh, um, who entertained me to start writing raps was, uh, it was a rapper named Sugar Free, man. And I love Sugar Free, man. I, I really loved him. He's a rapper, man. He raps. He raps on some pimp stuff. And I liked him. I, I liked him. And so I wrote my first rhymes, and it sounded just like something he would write. It just sounded just similar to what he was writing. And, you know, that wasn't even my character. Now, fast forward um, to today. Um, I was sitting there watching the interview with him and you know he's like man you know I don't even want to live that type of life no more and the real reason why I'm mad is because my baby mama wouldn't allow me to see my son and so I'm like what you know what I'm saying like this is all has to do over the fact that you're angry that you're upset that you were upset at your baby mother I'm thinking that man you was just hard on the bitch because you just had to be you know but it made me start to realize like man I was trying to live out something that this man didn't even want to live anymore he doesn't even want to follow that path and that pattern which is good don't get me wrong it's good but I didn't know the whole story so I was only entertaining an idea that I thought I knew and when you're trying to follow somebody else's life all we're doing is entertaining ideas of what we think that person is but we don't really know I mean we see it all the time a lot of people are coming out with all these stories uh, of these individuals who you think one way about them and then you turn around there another way and you're like, man, I put all my faith and all my trust and all my hopes in you and now you let me down. But the real problem is, it's not the fact of what they did. They're human. They're going to make those mistakes. It's the fact that you be believed in their hype. You shouldn't believe in somebody else's hype. You should be believing in yourself. The reason, um, the reason why I write a lot of uh, or make a lot of videos and do a lot of different stuff is because... Um, it's mine. You know what I'm saying? It's my story. I can't tell anybody. No one has my story. You know, it makes us unique. You know, I remember as a kid, they used to teach us in church that we all have to do the same thing. We all have to praise God in the same light um, as everybody else. But it's so crazy that you have all these different individuals and all these different colors, all these different looks, all these different abilities and disabilities. And you're saying that we all should be worshiping this entity in the same light as this. So a person who is six foot three, um, uh, 275 pounds needs to worship just as well as somebody that's five foot four, uh, um, uh, 15, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, 150 pounds. Y'all should, should have the same identity and ideals. And no, it's not like that, man. We're created. Not every tree grows the same. Not every tree looks the same. Not every bird looks the same. Not every animal looks the same. So why would you expect that the one thing that's supposed to be ruling the earth be the same and use the same abilities? It just doesn't make any sense. You, you, you know, we entertain what we don't understand because we think we understand it and it just doesn't make any sense you know you know fun your story like when I'm doing these videos and stuff don't get me wrong I like to look up information I like to study from other individuals and stuff and me being an empath sometimes I'm start I, I had to realize that I was taking upon a lot of other people's energy and that I thought I was them 
I, I remember watching a couple of movies that actually inspired me. I'm looking in the mirror and all I see is that individual, that particular energy. And in reality is, it's just me. So I'm taking upon that. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, it's like look at your life. Your story is what people are entertained by. You know, I was looking at, um, 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 his name is Eric Thomas, and he said something that was very interesting. You know, he said, what gives you the right to tell somebody else's story if you ain't lived that story? And it made, it made me go, whoa. Yeah, I don't have the right to tell uh, uh, somebody else's story. You know why? Because it's not mine. I didn't live what they lived. I only live what I'm living. I'm only doing what I'm doing. And that's what people can attract to. If I keep trying to teach somebody else's information, I'm not really teaching. I'm not really saying anything that hasn't already been said. I'm trying to find my own path, my own pattern, my own life, my own light. You know what I'm saying? So that's one of those things, man. I think that is it's just very important, man. Look what look I understand we all get influenced by somebody, and that's good. We're supposed to be influenced and get motivated by others. You know what I'm saying? Everybody gets influenced and motivated by somebody. But when you start crafting your life and your identity behind that individual, it's not gonna be beneficial to you because that's not for you. You know, there's so many people out there trying to be a millionaire because they see Warren Buff Buffett being a millionaire. You know, they see Oprah Winfrey, they see uh, Bill Gates, they see all these these people and not even realizing that that may not be for you. You don't know what they're doing behind closed doors. You don't know what they're doing behind the scenes to keep and maintain this. Are you willing to do that? And it's fine. Why are you always asking for their goals and their dreams? That was their life. They use that. And yes, there will be some individuals who actually will achieve the same success as them. But that's not maybe that's not for you. You know what I'm saying? You're not you're not even born in the same pattern. If you look at their life, there's specific patterns that they go through to be where they're at. The specific patterns. Just just study. If you really want to study, study life. They have specific patterns. You're not one of those individuals. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, my 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 folks. They always like to watch that show, uh, Shark Tank. And you know they look at the individuals and it's all these different individuals and in all these different markets trying to get this one person and everybody has a different craft and perspective but they all got the financial means but they all come from a different background and they all trying to get this one particular individual or they're not trying to get this particular individual based upon their own personal market and you know I, I, I'm looking at this like okay these are individuals who have their own particular goals and identities all of them made it successful but they made it through a different craft, a different identity, a different path, a different pattern, uh, a different way of life. So what I'm trying to say is is that we can't keep trying to craft our life behind somebody else. It just it just doesn't make any sense. You know what I'm saying? I can only live me. I can only live out my my goals and dreams. Even if I had a twin brother or a twin sister, I couldn't even live out their path because really we're both born on two separate planes. We're both born in two separate time frames and we're both probably eventually going to die in two separate ways or ideas. So so that's all I really kind of wanted to really want to say, man, is look at your own life. Look at what you're doing. Stop entertaining anybody else's life because that's their life. That's their goals. That's their journey. Your journey in life is completely different. And you'll probably appreciate your journey way much more than having or trying to be somebody else. So I thank you guys, man. Yeah, if you like this content, you like this information, man, um, Pass it on, share it, follow, like, subscribe. There's going to be some um, unperfect, perfect chronicles coming soon. Um, and like I said, man, if you, if you feel this, thing, if this works for you, uh, hopefully it works for somebody else. Like it, send it out. You know, do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm living me. I'm living my my path the best way I possibly can. So I hope the hopefully you can do the same. So I thank you and happy birthday because every day is a happy Earth Day.